Hey, Halton foodies. We've got an awesome episode for you this week. We are checking out Backed by Bees. for having us in today here at Backed by Bees. Please introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about Backed by Bees. So my name is Dave, Dave Stoetsbury, and this is my partner, Vincent Soa. We're the two founders here at Backed by Bees. We're a local beekeeping operation, Meadery, and then a market here in Burlington that started actually in 2018. We produce bees for sale. We really specialize in raw honey production out of those bee colonies as well. So I'm a bit of a unique product because I think a lot of us have an interaction with liquid honey, not so much of us have an interaction with raw honey, which if you've talked to me, you probably know, you've heard me say, <laughs> you just can't beat raw honey. So we do that with our honeybee colonies. We actually house them on the property here. So, you know, with the four acres that we function within the Burlington, you know, area at 6214 Appleby Line, we actually have a commercial bee yard where you can actually come and interact with the bees. During the peak of the summer, we do have about 2 million bees on the property that don't really bother us. They just end up working all day. Busy as a bee is a real thing. So they produce raw honey. And then some of that raw honey actually gets shifted into our meadery. And so years ago, I must be 2016, 17 now, I actually met Vincent at a beekeeping course in Guelph and Vincent was a home brewer with a special interest in mead making and I thought what a perfect pair it was. So some of that raw honey gets shifted over in the meadery and there's no better guy to talk to about mead than yeah. this. Okay, well thanks Dave. Yeah, so we take all that raw honey and we make mead. Mead is the world's oldest alcoholic beverage. It is produced just from honey and water and we ferment that out, much like you do a wine or a cider. And then uh, it's a big, big, big category. So it's bigger than kind of beer, wine or cider, like from a taste profile perspective. So we can brew anything from kind of like a 3% really light, all the way up to, you know, where natural fermentation kind of ends 20 to 22%. And so we do that full range of product right here on site, right in the building kind of behind me. So we take all that honey that Dave's producing in those bee yards, we make alcohol out of it, and then we can taste sample and serve right out of the location here. You're more than welcome to come down and have a taste at any time. We are open Wednesday to Sundays throughout the entire year here at the meadery. What can people expect when they come in and see you here at Backed by Bees? Yeah, so we have a full retail operation here on site and other than the raw honey, of course, and all the kind of the honey products that go with it, candles and beeswax and pollen and the mead, we also kind of curate local Ontario products hyper local some of them right here to Milton and Burlington and then the rest from Ontario and so we do specialize in Ontario products including a little bit of vegetables and dairy and cheese and all that type of stuff so we can take you inside and kind of show you some of those products that we carry and then we do going into this season have pre-packaged curated gifts of kind of local items that we do both you know for yourselves but also for corporate as well okay so we're in the shop now so tell us a little bit about what people can find in the shop here so the first thing when you come in the door, what you're able to actually see is kind of one of our big products, which would be that raw honey. So raw honey being, it hasn't ever been filtered or processed. So it's kind of the real McCoy. It's got everything in there that's supposed to be in there. So we have our wall of honey. We do some specialty honeys as well. Our smoked honey is actually a, a quite a popular one. So we take some of our raw honey and then actually smoke it over, you know, charcoal and hardwoods. We do also ferment honey. So we do have a product that we actively ferment honey, not alcoholically and whatnot, but it's just, it changes the flavor profile. It's quite an acidic, sort of sharp, um, really neat, interesting honey. And then have some other specialty bee products as well. So we do carry honey sticks, bee pollen. So it's a pollen right from the hives that we've harvested as well as a propolis type tincture. So the first thing when you come in, it's really, it's all about the bees. And then when you start actually getting in and chatting with us, the next thing that kind of opens up is going to be our market. So like Vince mentioned there, so we do curate a lot of kind of your pantry style items from all, you know, local type vendors. So all Ontario, so everything that we have curated over here is you know, specifically designed to fit modern day, everyday life or kind of the masses there. So all Ontario based products. And then the next thing and kind of one of the big highlights is definitely being, you know, one of the few Ontario meteries is you end up getting to the taps. And so what we're able to do right in here, we do actually serve by the glass, but we can also do sampling. So for the majority of people who have never heard of mead or tried mead before, and then are trying to grasp exactly what mead tastes like because it's such a broad category, we're able to kind of have some meads on tap and in order to get people to sample them so they have an idea of, of what Vince is able to brew and come up with. So that's actually what we do in the retail area on a nice 
warm day, we even have that garage door open and so that people can flood outdoors and, and spend some time connecting with nature. Start with this yeah, one? Start with that one. Okay. It's dry, so it'll uh, be the drier one. Okay, this is the one that's like champagne? Yeah, it'll be more like a champagne that's been carbonated for a long time. All right, I like champagne. <laughs> you kind of... It's really good. <laughs> It's really good. It's very light. It is like a, it does feel kind of like a mix between like flavors. Like it's or that, or even like a, it could actually be like a seltzer or something like that. You could, it's because it's so light. Yeah, it's really nice. It, it would feel like a really nice summer drink, That's like <laughs> right? Very nice. And then this one is sweeter. That'll be much sweeter, it's 14 and a half percent. Okay. Oh, I, that's okay with me. <laughs> that's no problem. All right, cheers. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is more like a sipper. Like it's very, it's very sweet. I like it though. It's like I feel like an aperitif or something almost, right? Like, mm -hmm. very so that's nice. Generally, how we would tell people to, to drink any of these is more like an aperitif. Yeah. Like these two are the barrel aged ones, and then those are more liqueur or whiskey cups. Well, they're really good. I think they would make awesome like gifts for this time of year too, like something totally different and local. And I had no idea it was even a thing. So it was really neat experience. Thanks for so much for having us in. So tell me where folks can find you if they want to come and learn more about Back the Beast. Great, okay. Well, so we're inside the meadery right now again. And so if you're looking for like some really great raw honey and some great mead product, we are at 6214 Appleby Line, just in the north end of Burr Burlington, that's between Britannia and Derry. We are open Wednesdays to Sundays here at this location, and we're open from noon generally to about five or six o'clock, depending on you know how dark it gets outside, you know, getting into that season right now. And so you can come up here, you can taste the raw honey, we do that. You can definitely taste the mead, we've got that on tap so that you can experience it before you buy. We do that free, there's no cost to kind of small, small samples here for sure, just to kind of get you to taste that. And then we do have all of our gifts here as well. And then we do have a store in the Burlington Center where we do do gifting as well both kind of pre-packaged and custom and then that store is open just normal regular mall hours if you do want to follow us on social you know Instagram Facebook uh, whatever it is just at backed by bees thank you so much for having us in awesome thank you thank you so much for watching be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our other great videos